He's a visionary whose work deepens our understanding of important issues, touches our hearts, and stirs our emotions. He's the world's preeminent director, producer, studio head, a uniquely generous philanthropist. His film, Schindler's List, educated millions about the Holocaust. He then created the USC Shoah Foundation, recording 55,000 genocide survivors and witnesses, making sure the world never forgets. With his wife, Kate Capshaw, he established the Righteous Persons Foundation, inspiring social activism through Jewish values. And he supported countless other worthy causes over the years. This man, this artist, this humanitarian is a model for all to emulate. He inspires us, entertains us, and makes our lives better. Steven Spielberg is the 2021 Genesis Prize Laureate. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Aisha Torah. You do very good work. But I could have used you in my life about 25 years ago, actually. Uh, <laughs> but what I wanted to say to those in Moscow about satellite and communication is in the past 10 years, you in Russia have joined the global community in a way the rest of us will never be able to understand. Suddenly, you are being visually bombarded. How do you make sense of all this incoming information? For the rest of us, the challenge is different but no less urgent. And because we see so much on TV, more than ever before in history, we have become somewhat desensitized to it all. I thought it was mind-boggling. I was back watching everything that's been on the television satellite for the last hour, and I think it's pretty mind-boggling, uh, this link from uh, Moscow to New York to Toronto to Jerusalem to here. I feel the technology has come so far and has taken us along for the ride. It's exciting, but technology can open so many doors, and yet our hearts and minds must still do all the legwork. Prior to this era of high technology and very easy communication. Ignorance was the easy excuse when it came to the issue of prejudice. In this country, it wasn't uncommon to hear someone say, I never met a Jew growing up. There weren't any in my neighborhood. That argument no longer works. In this age of global communication in which our planet 
is virtually circled by satellites bouncing words and images and ideas from one place to another. We have gone a very, very long way toward eradicating ignorance once and for all. And yet, racial intolerance still exists. Suspicion and hatred live on, and worse, they've been thriving. Why are we more distant from each other than ever? Now when we have the ability to see into each other's lives and to see how similar all of us are. Our communication network has given us unprecedented access to every culture. So what is going wrong? I believe that seeing isn't necessarily believing and knowledge is not enough to stop great hatred. It all comes back to us as individuals, who we are as human beings. It comes down to making moral choices and doing what is right, not just for ourselves and our families, but for those who we may never meet or never get to know. It's easy to find new excuses for keeping our minds shut. A popular refrain is, with so many people saying so many things, who knows what's true? No more can we ignore our responsibility to do something with the information we are taking in through satellites around the world. Listen to the words and to the images, but don't stop there. Everything you get is just a piece of a puzzle. Schindler's List, for example, is just one thread in a great tapestry of works on the Holocaust. Open your mind and let one thread lead you to another and another. And by following the threads, the tapestry will reveal itself. We're all part of it. A tapestry that stretches from Los Angeles to New York, to Moscow, to Sydney, to Jerusalem, and back to LA. If any part of it is weakened, we all suffer. Over 75 million people have seen Schindler's List in motion picture theaters. So, it's amazing, it's amazing, it's awesome. It's amazing. As someone who has and continues to change the world, Stephen, to whom and to what do you attribute this drive? I had parents who honored Judaism as a, as a race, a way of life, and a faith, and they raised me real well. I wouldn't have made Schindler's List without my mother and father's help. 